Good morning, Katherine Ewing here from Emotional Freedom at Last, out for my morning walk. I'm trying to go early this morning because it's going to be another scorcher here in Connecticut. So uh, today's little tip actually may be longer than a couple of minutes, but it's something really important. So I hope you'll stay tuned and just listen in. It won't be more than three or four minutes. Um, one of the things that my clients ask me a lot is how EFT works, emotional freedom technique. And the truth is, like ener any energy work, we don't exactly know. But what I do know is that one of the things EFT does is to calm down the amygdala. Now, you may not know that word, um, not many people do, but it happens to be a little almond-shaped gland in the brain that is really the, um, what I call the emotional sentinel. So it's a very primitive part of the brain uh, that is always searching and looking for potential or perceived danger. So, you know, back in the caveman days, that was, you know, if a saber-toothed tiger happened to stroll by or a marauding, you know, tribesman was in the area. But these days, we're on um, such overload and overstimulation that the amygdala kicks in a lot of times when there really isn't any danger to our lives. But, um, but we perceive that there is. So for example, it could be that all of a sudden your boss calls and says, hey, can you come into my office? Or your child's school calls, um, you know, and says that there's a problem with your child. Um, so the brain immediately sort of overreacts and begins, and the, the amygdala sends a message to the other parts of the brain to begin this cascade of chemicals that includes adrenaline and cortisol to get our body ready for what we know as that fight or flight response. So immediately we're getting prepared because we perceive danger to our livelihood, basically, to either run or fight. So all of these chemicals are streaming through our body and you know how this feels. Your heart starts pumping, your respiration, your breathing changes, um, you might get fuzzy in the head, your muscles feel different because the blood is flowing in different ways. And one of the things that happens is that the blood literally flows away from your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that we use for uh, decision making because from a very primitive and biological sense, we're not supposed to be thinking just then. This is not, you know, when we get into analysis of, gee, what should I do? How should I handle this situation? This is either run or fight because it's a life-threatening situation. So the blood, blood flows away from the part of the brain that makes the good decisions and um, you know, then we go sort of into this fight or flight and if it's not managed or if it, you know, spirals too much, we can go into a full-blown panic attack. And um, I know many of you know this feeling of this high stress or anxiety sort of bordering on panic a lot of the time and occasionally really going up into a panic attack when, the, when there is a stressful situation. So when we tap, we um, begin to like turn down the dial on that amygdala, on that uh, emotional uh, sentinel, and it begins to reverse that process of fight or flight. So our heart beat slows down, our respiration goes back to a more normal rhythm, and probably, you know, quite importantly, the blood begins to flow back to our brain so that now we can actually make a better decision about the situation that we find ourselves in. So that's, you know, not the whole story, but it's a part of the story of how emotional freedom technique works. When we tap, we turn down the dial on that amygdala so that it's not recognizing the situation as uh, life-threatening or dangerous. And then we're able to respond to a situation rather than react, which is, you know, what happens when we're in that fight or flight response. We're just in reaction. So that's it. It didn't take too long, did it? So just remember, you can use EFT anytime that you start to feel overstimulated or panicky or stressed out and just simply tap on any of the points that you remember. Don't worry about knowing everything. And if you want to actually see a little more about that, please go to my YouTube channel. I do have some tapping videos there. Catherine Ewing. Just go to YouTube and um, Google my name and you'll um, find some tapping videos that can help you show the basics and um, 
how to use EFT. So that's it for today. Have a beautiful day. I hope it's as beautiful where you are as it is here, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.